Good morning. Welcome to 1 Samuel 25 today, verses 39 to 44. Finishing out the chapter, let's read. So when David heard that Nabal was dead, he said, Blessed be the Lord who has pleaded the cause of my reproach from the hand of Nabal and has kept his servant from evil. For the Lord has returned the wickedness of Nabal on his own head. And David sent and proposed to Abigail to take her as his wife. When the servants of David had come to Abigail at Carmel, they spoke to her, saying, David sent us to you to ask you to become his wife. Then she arose, bowed her face to the earth, and said, Here is your maidservant, a servant to wash the feet of the servants of my Lord. So Abigail rose in haste and rode on a donkey, attended by five of her maidens, and she followed the messengers of David and became his wife. David also took Ahinoam of Jezreel, and bo so both of them were his wives. But Saul had given Michael, his daughter, David's wife, to Palti, the son of Laish, who was from Galim. So here we have uh, the end of Nabal. He, he dies, and David, David liked Abigail. He was quite taken by her, and he asked her if she would become his wife. But interesting here how he says, you know, God has, has seen my reproach, and now Nabal's died. Nabal, David's connecting Nabal's de death with a judgment by God upon him for his, his, his wrongness. And now Abigail is going to become David's wife. David proposed to Abigail, and she was uh, quite up for that. And then we have this business at the end, which is sort of disturbing. So here's this other business, Ahinoam. Who is this? I mean, David takes two wives. Doesn't David know better? Uh, now, in the Bible, there's many things. There's a difference between what's recorded and what is God's will. In the Bible, the, the Bible writers do not go around things. They don't uh, make somebody look better than they are. They don't make them look worse than they are. They don't, the Bible doesn't cover the warts. And so there's many things that, are, that David should know. You only really have one wife. In the, in the beginning, God made the male and female. In the beginning, God determined that only one man and one woman, that would be what constitutes a real one flesh a kind of Bible marriage. So to have multiple wives, multiple husbands or something in there, that's that's utterly wrong. And yet the Bible records that many of these guys had multiple wives. And and this is just a piece that God was always against, but he didn't he addressed different things at different times more firmly. And so for a period in time he doesn't do as much with this one as he might. But just because David has multiple wives here doesn't mean that God is affirming that it's okay, go ahead and have as many wives as you want. That is not God's plan, and this is going to lead to trouble uh, whenever we see a case where there's multiple spouses. So this, what, I guess what I want to say is that just because the Bible records it doesn't mean that God advocates it. Many times the Bible records things that God does not at all advocate, but he's telling us the truth about what happened. So we got to be careful that we don't ever just take something and read it in the Bible and say, oh, God's okay with that. No, it's not necessarily so that God's okay with that. What we've got to do is look to see what does the Bible say, start in Genesis, go all the way out to the end of Revelation, see what the whole Bible says. You won't find any, any, you won't find any endorsement in the Bible for multiple spouse for polygamy. You won't find that anywhere in the Bible as an endorsement. You'll find it historically that it happened. But no, not at all, is there a Bible support for that. So David takes Abigail, and we don't know much about Ahinoam at this point, but we know that uh, that's one wife sort of over the limit. So anyway, that's what we've got. Uh, we do have verse 44, which tells us that um, it's, David's been treated poorly. The woman who was betrothed to be his wife, she was given to another by Saul, Saul abusing his power. So uh, David had some bad bad things, shouldn't have gone that way, but uh, that doesn't justify now that he has Ahinoam and Abigail at the same time. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you that you returned uh, Nabal's reproach of David upon Nabal's head, and that was an appropriate thing to do. You were the judge. We are not. We just simply know that it must be true and right. Abigail was full of humility, and she's going to be a, she's the wife of, of the man who will be king. And help us again to be careful that we don't misuse the scriptures to make it as though they are supporting some crazy teaching that is not something that matches your plan for humans. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so let's go out there. Let's live our Christian life, and let's keep it down to one spouse. And uh, the Lord be with us. God be with you.